MSF, or Médecins Sans Frontières, which means Doctors Without Borders, is an organisation that sends doctors and nurses and lots and lots of other people with special jobs to do to countries and places where people have had a really bad time, sometimes due to something like an earthquake or flooding, but more often due to wars and conflicts and things that we often don't even hear about on our televisions. Um, where, and during those wars and conflicts, people get injured and people get very sick. And what Médecins Sans Frontières tries to do is to go there and help people to get well again so that they can get back to their old lives and get back to something better. So, what is malaria? Malaria is a disease that you catch from a germ or a parasite, which is rather bigger than a, a little germ, and it's carried by a mosquito. Once it gets into you, you can have usually fever and feel really, really unwell. And in some cases, people die of malaria. Malaria does occur mostly in hot countries, in the tropics, but it's surprising how far out of the tropics you also get malaria. Malaria can occur in countries where there is heavy snow and frost in the winter, but most malaria is in hot and damp countries, so where there is a tropical forest, for example, or where there is a seasonal high a lot of rain in, in, in a rainy season, then there is a lot of malaria during that season as well. Now that is interesting because in fact people are affected by malaria very, very differently. Um, small children, children under five, and even in some places, children under three are the ones most badly affected by malaria. And in fact, they get very, very sick with malaria. They can become what is called anemic. So they become, their blood becomes thinner and thinner and doesn't work very well anymore. And these children become very, very white and sometimes they die of anemia. Other children can get what we call cerebral malaria. It affects their brains. And the malaria parasites, the little germs, get into the brain, into the blood vessels of the brain. And they make that child go unconscious, sometimes have fits, and be very, very unwell indeed. And a lot of those children die. But sometimes children just get a fever, maybe something like having flu or a bad cold and they don't really know whether it's been malaria or a bad cold. It could be either. Well, unfortunately, there's no way of telling which mosquito that has bitten you, uh, whether it's carrying malaria or not. There are actually thousands of kinds of mosquito in the world, but only one particular kind carries malaria, and that one is called the Anopheles, and it's only the females. The males don't carry malaria, only these bad female mosquitoes carry malaria from person to person. Mosquitoes like damp places and water. That's where they lay their eggs and breed in water. Now sometimes it's big bits of water, like lakes or lochs or rivers. And sometimes it's just little muddy puddles left by the footprints of a horse or a donkey. And then it's rained and that tiny little bit of water is enough for the mosquito to lay their eggs. Mosquitoes don't live very long, so they don't really have a, a home that they go to at all. 
They really only live for a matter of days or weeks.